Hello, my name is Dylan, but you can call me Buttercup. Welcome to Buttercup Yarn Art, a soft-spoken video journal where I play with yarn and share my thoughts. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about, please leave a comment to let me know. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that my Gigi Cardi is finished, which I am very excited about. I am even wearing it right now. Um, I am now working on my big queen size blanket that I have been kind of dreading, but which really I need to finish. Um, and if you watched my last video when I not my last video from this but my last video where I was testing the stitch pattern that I was planning to use for this blanket um, you will have noticed that I am not doing that stitch pattern. Um, that one was the woven shell stitch from the Crochet Stitch Dictionary by Sarah Hazel. Uh, this is from that same book, just a different stitch pattern. This is um, Wave and Chevron. I think it's called, or Chevron and Wave, something like that, um, and I changed my mind on what stitch pattern I was going to do because I cast on all of my stitches for the woven shell stitch, got everything going, and I hated it. I hated doing it. I didn't want to work on it. I didn't enjoy it. I would rather do anything else than work on it. Um, and I would have discarded this project if I did not change what stitch pattern I was doing. Um, so I switched to this one, I looked through the book again, and I like this one because it has that um, kind of that ripple chevron texture without the ripply chevron edges, which I don't like. I like flat edges on blankets. And this stitch pattern does give flat edges. So you can see what I'm doing here now is basically taking it from the wavy edge here and making it straight again by taking, going from the single crochet, the shortest stitch at the peak and increasing the height of the stitches down into the valleys. And I did make a modification to this. I think I messed up somewhere. Um, 
Körper. Anyway. Um, I did make a modification. The tallest stitch that the book wanted me to use was a triple crochet and I find those very fiddly and awkward to work. I found it. I found where I messed up. I did two double crochets in a row here instead of a double and then a half double. So I'm going to rip back a bit, which is okay. Um, anyway, um, I find triple crochets really awkward to work, and I don't enjoy doing them. So, instead of a triple crochet, I am doing extended double crochet, which gives it that extra height, but at least for me, isn't as fiddly to work. And the, one of the biggest advantages to this stitch pattern over the woven shell stitch pattern, at least for me, is that when I was, you know, doing, like, reading it and figuring out how it worked, I didn't need to read it over and over again to memorize it. I didn't need, I didn't even need to work a full repeat of it to make it work. I just clicked in my brain, made sense, and I understood right away how to do it. So I am having a much better time now. I am much further along with this stitch pattern than I got with the woven shell stitch. Um, and I think even if I would absolutely rather be knitting a sweater right now, or crocheting a sweater, just making a sweater, I will be able to keep working on this blanket now that I've changed the stitch pattern. Um, and actually, I will be kind of taking breaks on this. I joined a pattern test for a sweater um, because the designer had put out a call that they didn't receive any applications to test at all for um, several sizes including my size. So I decided, you know what? I might as well. You know, it's, it's not going to be super involved, super long project. I can get it out pretty quickly. Um, and I like knitting sweaters a lot, so I decided to apply and I was accepted. So I will be doing a pattern test. Um, I'm hoping to get through it very quickly, but I also know that Part of the point of doing a pattern test is finding problems with the pattern and that may stall progress. But at the end, I will have a very nice sweater and I'm looking forward to that. So, and now that I've switched the stitch pattern for this blanket, I think I will definitely be able to come back to it and not want to shove it in a corner forever. So. Yeah. 
and in the book this stitch pattern is demonstrated with like changing color pretty much every row and I can't be bothered to do that I just <laughs> it's not something that really interests me to do but I think it looks pretty cool in a single color and I know it's in black right now but I think that looks pretty cool I think that's pretty neat um, I really like it in a single color and I think having a whole blanket of it will also be really nice um, I'm a little worried because this is already way more than half of my first cone and it's not that much not that you know there, there isn't a whole lot of fabric yet I mean it's very very wide it's about 92 inches wide um, but You know, I think I can, once I have the second color done, I can measure and do some math and see if I need to get more. Um, I, I hope what I have will be enough, but I'll know once I get the second color done. But I think that is everything I wanted to talk about today. Another kind of short video. Um, but... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.